Okay, so we're going to look at um, fractions questions. I'm um, going to start with converting between top heavy and mixed numbers. The way to do this is to take the number in the front and the number in the bottom and just times them together. So 5 times 3 is 15. Add the number in the top so it's 16 over. And the number in the bottom just stays the same. So it's 16 over 3. Okay, second example, 3 and 4 over 7. So 3 times 7 is 21 plus 4 is 25. So it's 25 over 7. And then lastly, 10 times 13 is 130. Um, add on 7, it's 137. The number at the bottom stays the same, over 13. Okay. To convert back the way, um, we've got 15 over 5. So just remember that means that it means 18 divided by 5. So if I do a little bus stop, okay, I've got 5 into 1, doesn't go. 5 into 3 goes 3 times. And just think about your remainder. So we've got a remainder of three. So as a mixed number, it's three total. Okay, because there's a three there. And I'm left with three over five remainder. Um, for the second one, I've got 45 over 11. So you can think how many 11s go into 45. Well, I can get four 11s in there. And then what am I left over with? Well, four 11s are 44. Take one, take off 45. Um, it gives you one over 11. There's one left over. Um, the last one. I've got 158, and I'm going to divide it by 3. So 3 into 1 doesn't go. 3 into 5 goes 5 times. 3 into 8 goes twice, with a remainder of 2. So that one's going to be 52 and 2 thirds left over. Okay, adding fractions, adding and subtracting fractions is pretty straightforward if the number on the bottom is the same. So in, this, in the first example, I've got 4 fifths plus 2 fifths. The book of five in the bottom, so if I add them together, I'm going to have six fifths, okay, in total. You're not going to have six tenths, just be really careful, you do not add along the bottom as well, you only add along the top. Example two um, is, is a subtraction one, works the exact same way, but we just we just take away, instead if I have nine elevenths, I take away four elevenths, I'm going to have five elevenths left over, okay. Becomes a little bit trickier um, whenever there's different numbers at the bottom. Um, so what we've got to do is look at our denominators. So in this case, it's it's three and six, and we're trying to find a number that um, both those numbers go into. So three and six. So the lowest number they can both go into is is just six, and um, which is quite nice. So if I've got one third, okay, you got to think about how many sixths that is. Okay, so if what I do with three to make six, I times it by two. So do the same to the other one. So one third is the same thing as as two sixths. Um, if you're thinking about it in terms like pizza, if you cut pizza into thirds and you took one of them, it'd be the same thing as if you cut pizza into six and took two of them. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be the exact same thing. So I'm going to rewrite this, this question as two over six plus one over six, which now that the same number at the bottom, I can just add along the top. So three six. Um, last thing to do is, is just make sure that the number or check if the number simplifies. So three six is the same thing as one over two or a half. Um, in example four, we've got two thirds and we're going to take away four ninths. So again, I'm going to change this to have the same denominator. So what number does three and nine go into? Well, they both go into nine. So I'm going to change two thirds into being a fraction over nine. So how do you get from two to or three to nine? I times it by three. So do the same thing. Two times three is six. So six ninths is the same thing as two thirds. Rewrite the question as six over nine, take away four over nine. And then just subtract along the top. So it's two ninths is the answer there. If you've got um, two numbers that are, are very different, so five and seven, like I can't change five into seven or, or vice versa. So you need to think of a number that five and seven are both going to go into. And um, if you can't think of one, um, the best thing to do is to just multiply the numbers together because that's always going to work. Um, but it might not necessarily be the easiest way of doing it. Um, for this one, 5 times 7 is 35, and that's the, the, the easiest way of doing this one, um, plus 35. So what I need to do is figure out how do I turn, change 5 into 35. If I do 5 times 7, it gives me 35, so I'll do 4 times 7 to get 28. And then the same thing I want to do, how do I get 7 into 35? Um, well, I'll do 7 times 5 gives me 35, so 4 times 5 gives me 20. Okay, you do the same thing at the top as, as you do at the bottom. Now to find the equivalent fractions of both those things with the same denominator, um, I just add along the top. So 28 plus 20 is 48 over 35. 
Um, just have a wee check, make sure that that number simplifies or not. Um, I can't think of any numbers that divide for like thirty five or like seven, so that doesn't work. Five, one thirty five. So that's that's going to be the simplest answer for that one. Example six, and um, we need a number that goes into seven and three. Um, if it times in the garage, it gives me 21. So that's the easiest way in this case of doing it. Um, so how do I get from 7 to 21? I times it by 3. So 6 times 3 is um, is 18. Let me get rid of that. Um, so then I want to do a third, or sorry, 3 into 21. Okay, so 3 times 7 is 21. So 1 times 7 is just 7. So 18 over 21, take away 7 over 21, just gives me 11 over 21. Okay, and again, it's not going to simplify. Right, last one here. Example 7 is I'm, I'm combining this, what we've all what we've done so far. And I've got mixed number and add them together, and they've got different denominators. So I'm going to change the mixed numbers into top-heavy fractions first, and then I'm going to add them. So 1 and 5. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So that is 6 over 5, plus... 3 times 9, which is 27, plus 5 is 32, so it's 32 over 9. So what we've got to do next is find a number that 9 and 5 both go into. So if it times 5 and 9, it's going to be 45. There's not one easier than that in this case. So both into 45. How do I get 5 into 45? Times it by 9. So 6 times 9 is 54. And then I've got 9 into 45 times it by 5. So now I've got to do 32 times 5. And just to make sure I get it right... I'm just going to do a wee calculation on the side here. So 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. So it's 160. Okay. Then I'm just going to add along the top. So 54 plus 160 is uh, 214 over 45. Um, try and have a think and see if you can get a number that, that divides them. Um, 45 numbers divide 45 are you know, 45, which isn't going to work. 9 doesn't work. 5 doesn't work. 3 doesn't work. Um, so that's all that's all I can really do there. So that must be the final answer.